Well, here's a dining destination to put on your to-do list when it's okay to go out and about. A restaurant has to have something going for it when it has a remote location, but hordes of people coming in every day. Well, Tammy Arnder found such a place down in Columbia. Hey, hello. How are y'all doing? Yeah, good. Good? Hey, brother. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing all right. How are y'all? Oh, we're hanging right in there. Hanging in there. You may think with a name like Gary Bass, there would automatically be a fondness for fish. And yes, there is. But Gary and his wife Rhonda specialize in catfish, not bass. The main draw is our catfish. Uh, we make our own batter for the catfish and we just lightly batter it. You get a lot more meat than you do batter. Gary and Rhonda are the principals at Catfish Campus in Columbia, a mainstay in Mule Town since 1991. Their menus and all was a school with all the fish in the desk, you know, like a school of fish, they go in schools. And so that's how they got the name. The Bass has started in the restaurant business in a small town in Northeast Arkansas. We have another location in Arkansas, a little town called Caldwell, Arkansas, that's right off of Interstate 40. A little town of 311 people, I believe, and a famous country singer was from there, a guy named Charlie Rich. They called him the Silver Fox, and he was born right there close to where the restaurant's at. And uh, we, we'll feed somewhere around 1,500, 2,000 people a week in a little town of 311 people. Rhonda doesn't have a culinary degree, but her upbringing taught her everything she needed to know about good Southern home cooking. I grew up in a family of 10 kids, and I'm one of the older ones, so we helped do everything and learn to cook early and whatever, and I've always enjoyed it. And she still enjoys it. You can often find her in the kitchen, even though the employees know the recipes by heart. Some of these employees have been a part of this establishment since they were kids. All the years, I mean, we've seen them grow up and babies that was here work for me now. And uh, one of my managers, my main manager, uh, he started for me when he was 15 year old. And uh, now he has, when he started, of course, he was a busboy, a dishwasher, and he's worked his way up as manager. And then he has two sons that works for us. So the quintessential southern lunch. Got the turnip greens, the coleslaw, and that crispy fried catfish. I cannot wait to dig in. Although catfish is the calling card at this cafe, you can get just about anything your taste buds desire steaks, seafood, chicken, and pork chops, and dessert. Don't dare forget the desserts. And some people just come for the sides. It is Southern cooking, and like our hush puppies, our slaw, um, everything we do from scratch, make our own. And so you're, you're not getting prepackaged frozen stuff, it's all fresh. A lot of people thought we'd just shut down. They didn't realize we'd move back off the road. It took a little while, but, but see, we good, a, good food, good, good service you bring to you. I don't care what yeah, you do. Right. You'll seldom find Gary in the kitchen. He's all about public relations, literally. How are you, Miss Bass? I'm doing fine. Good to see you, sir. I'm a PR guy, I guess you could say. I, I love the customers, and I love to talk to them, find out where they're from. And of course, we've made a lot of friends over the years. and. We've got people that come in almost every day to eat, and we have people every week. If, if some of them don't show up on Friday night with, oh no, what's wrong with this guy or this lady, or and we know them by name, you know, not just by faces. We're just friends with a lot of people in the community. Giving back to the community is also important. The Basses get to know their customers so well, they know when something is wrong or when someone is sick. They're just almost like family. Yeah. I've, uh, when some of them are sick, I'll take them a meal or feed their whole family. You know, just take them a, what we call a family pack of chicken or fish, or we'll mix it, make a combo out of it. And uh, 
We've had a lot of people over the years that were close friends or good customers, and when they get sick, couldn't go anywhere, I'd, I'd take a meal every day. That's really putting a restaurant to the test. And if you're a student of Southern cooking, then a trip to Catfish Campus will get you an A-plus every time.